Welcome. This is the online class with teacher Jeffrey. This is a hydroelectric power plant. Water is stored in a dam so it becomes a water reservoir. Then this water is released and used to move the turbine to produce electricity for the consumption of the community. We will focus on the meaning of energy, renewable energy like hydroelectric power plant, and the conversion of energy in the hydroelectric power plant. Energy is the ability to do work. The unit for energy is joules. Sources of energy are renewable and non-renewable. One of the renewable source of energy is hydroelectric power plant. It means that as long as there is water, there will be energy. So this energy is sustainable. Other sources of renewable energy aside from hydroelectrical power plant are solar energy, fuel cells, tidal, biomass, geothermal, and wind. The hydroelectrical power plant needs a water reservoir or a dam, a turbine, generator, and transmission. This kind of power station needs a dam or a water reservoir that has a gravitational potential energy. Once released, becomes kinetic energy or energy in motion. Then the water reached and moved the turbine. This also becomes kinetic energy. So the movement in the turbine by the use of a moving water is kinetic energy. The kinetic energy will change into electrical energy in the generator. Then this electrical energy will be sent to its transmission and will be consumed by the people. This diagram shows the parts of the hydroelectrical power plant. The left side is the dam or the water reservoir, the turbine, generator in the powerhouse and the transmission represented by the long distance power lines. So this is how the conversion of energy takes place. Gravitational potential in the dam or the water reservoir then it is released, going down, become kinetic energy. And this moving water will move to turbine, still kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy will form into electrical energy in the generator. And then it will be transmitted to all parts of the community for consumption. Before we end this topic, make sure you answer this question and place or write your answer in the comment box below. Is height of water a factor in the production of electricity in a hydroelectric power plant? This ends our topic for today. This is Teacher Jeffrey.